this is Matt with Alpha Analyst, and in this video, we're going to cover how to add check marks and X's to cells in Microsoft Excel. So for example, if you have a table that shows which companies met or failed to meet earnings expectations for a certain set of quarters, you could have a boring table that says yes or no. But if you want the table to pop a little bit, if you want it to be a little bit vis more visually appealing so it's easier to see which companies actually did meet earnings and which companies failed to meet analyst consensus earnings expectations, you could use checks and X's right here. So let's talk about how to make an adjustment, how to go from a table that looks like this, that simply says yes or no, to a table that has X's and check marks directly in the table. So it's a very simple set of steps, which you can see right here. We're going to just go through and do them one right after another. Step one is we want to type a lowercase a if we want a check mark. So basically, the lowercase a letter corresponds to a check mark for the font that we're going to change it to. And if we want an X, we'll type in an R. So for example, for the first quarter of 2016, Apple did not meet earnings expectations. So that would be an X. So we would type in an R. And once again, an R corresponds to an X. So we would want an X to correspond to an R in the table. And then this quarter, and then the next quarter, and the following quarter, it met earnings expectations. So we want to type in a lowercase a. And for example, for Microsoft, you would do an R here because you want the cell right here to have an X, and then these three cells will want to have a check mark because they did meet earnings expectations. So we can simply put A's in there. And obviously you could do a if-then formula. If it's yes, then change it to a lowercase a. Um, it's probably a topic for a different video. Uh, but once you're finished with that, once you've converted all of the yeses into lowercase a's and you've converted all of the no's into lowercase x's, now we're ready to go to the next step, which is to change the font to Webdings. So you can do that in a couple places. It's up to your personal preference. You can either go to the Home tab, and then up here you can type in Webdings. And after you type in Web, it should show up Webdings. And the other option is to simply highlight these cells here. Either way, you want to highlight the cells first before you do that. So you want to highlight the cells, and then once they're highlighted, either up here up top, type in Webdings, or highlight them over here, and then right click and choose from this context sensitive menu, type in Webdings. Either way, it will change it to the checks and X's for you. And it will look a little bit more visually appealing if you change the colors of the check marks to green. So for example, you can highlight the check marks you can color them green, and you can change the X's over here to a red color. Obviously, you could do conditional formatting. You could come to the home menu and then use conditional formatting to change all lowercase r's to red and all lowercase a's to green, but uh, that's a topic for a different video. So once you're finished with that, once you've colored all of these cells, one thing that you might notice is that the X's are a little bit larger than the check marks. So it's up to you, but if you want to, you can simply highlight the check marks and then you can right click and make the font size a little bit bigger. So that looks about right, something like that. So now you know how to add check marks and X's to cells in Microsoft Excel. If you like this video, I think you would love the financial analysis kit. It contains a video that goes over our top 10 favorite tricks in Microsoft Excel. It also contains three graphs in Excel that you can download, and it also has videos that go over how you can customize these graphs to meet your own personal needs. And finally, the kit contains a report on the one word that you can tell your boss that can supercharge your career. So how can you obtain your kit? Just go to aanalyst.com kit, and you can type in your email address and access the kit and start using it today.